guys, tell me I'm Mr. Base, Ms. Sean Marie Delaney, and I'm doing a video indoors because we had set up for Dory's video and with her granddaughter and um like her famous actor said don't do movies with kids or animals. To upstage you every time and it certainly was a place here. Uh, so Dory decided to scrap the whole video and since I had everything set up I thought I would talk to you today about some very uh, interesting but disturbing things that a governor of Houston Sylvester Turner had said to the mayor I'm sorry mayor of Houston had said um, he, even though they knew about um, Hurricane Harvey in advance, three days in advance, he did not tell his people in Houston to get ready to leave. Um, his reasoning was is that Houston's too big of a city and that there's no place they can get everybody out safely in time. Well, that's only partially true and that's because the fact of the matter is as the truth was the democrats are trying to find a way to make donald trump look like he's a monster and not doing the right thing right well we all know what the democrats are thinking if nobody evacuates it'll be just like all those people who stayed in place in hurricane katrina and um people will die and and then he can blame the federal government and say that Donald Trump was an asshole and all that. Whereas Governor um, Greg Abbott had told everybody on the, federal, on the state level to get the hell out of harm's way. Um, so I'd like to talk about that because I just saw something about that. If you're saying that Houston, despite the fact that you have all these major highways coming into the city, is not capable of having your population between your, you and another county of 10 million people escape harm's way. I think you should tell people something a little different. It's just this. Make a voluntary evacuation if those that get the hell out can get the hell out and those that can't can stay. Okay, that would have been a reasonable combination. But you see, the Democrats don't want to do that. Because the minute they do that, is they don't care about you. They don't care about your life. They don't care about your safety. And Mayor Sylvester Turner of Houston sure didn't think of your safety. Although he probably had... His plans for his family to get out of harm's way, quietly in effect, so that they could get away safely. Yeah. Dory. That's right here. Okay, watch over the camera. Yeah. Um. So anyway, that's um, a very serious issue. If, if a, the mayor himself probably had his own bug out plan already in effect. And they knew three days prior to Harvey coming into Texas, and they did nothing. That does not sound too good. All those people that were in Houston in harm's way could have, if the state and the local town government, city government, had said, "Guys, you got to get out. It's going to be bad. Don't don't try to stick it out." Um, instead, there's all those people that were flooded, that were stranded in cars, they were, they lost a lot of property, a couple of people have lost their lives because of, uh, Mayor, uh, Sylvester Turner's decision. And saying it is, like a wimp, oh, Houston's too big to easily evacuate in three days. And look what I have to do is look what happened with Hurricane Sandy, and... Um, where similar type of things happen, whereas the flooding caused all that damage, especially parts of Long Island and Fire Island and New Jersey, to tell you 
that people are going to lose their property. It's a fact of life. In these kind of storms, you cannot underestimate the power and the damage that could be done by the amount of flooding that has been approached uh, Houston as unprecedented. And now Harvey, as I call him Harvzilla, has gone back out to the Gulf, is reloading up with fresh water, fresh energy, and it's going to come in, it's going to affect New Orleans, it's going to come in and affect the east coast of Texas. It's going to be big again. And um, it is a serious issue that must be dealt with responsibly. So let's talk about the responsible thing for the next few days here in Winston. Fortunately, we do not have anything like this coming. I did not get a chance to mention why the last time. I'm going to talk briefly about it today. Um, today, an expected high will be um, this is about 24 degrees Celsius outside right now. The low tonight will be 10 degrees Celsius with 10% chance of precipitation. Tuesday, August 29th, a high of 20, a low of 11, 10% chance of precipitation again. A mix of sun and clouds. Wednesday, August 30th, will be a high of 24, a low of 12, with 10% chance of precipitation. It's mostly sunny. Thursday, August 31st, 50% chance of thunderstorms. A high of 28, a low, or sorry, a low of 20, a high of 23, a low of 8. And Friday, it'll be cooler, sunny, 0% chance of precipitation, a high 8, uh, 18, a low of 6. Um, and it doesn't get any really better than this. This is just um, unprecedented how this is working out with this weather forecast. For we're getting the equivalent of late September's forecast in August. And if you listen to some of these people who are in the know, they'll tell you outright that this weather is, this winter is going to be lots of cold, lots of snow for the Northeast. Um, of course, the, um, it's also, of course, going to affect the lake, effect, um, Great Lakes area as well. We've got a lot of snow and a lot of cold coming down from the Canadian uh, areas as it shows, several weather projections show for the next three months. So it's going to be getting really, really cold and icy in uh, we may even see snow in parts of um, southern or northern New England. Sorry, northern New England by late September. So we may see some snow, and um, be ready for that. I know I am. With temperatures like today, we don't have to run the air conditioning, which is fantastic. Uh, it is it's still warm in here, but it's not so bad that we can't get videos in. And I also wanted to talk to all of my audience about another thing. Please don't forget to click on the little blue square in your lower right hand corner and, and click like and subscribe. And Dory was gonna say was gonna say on her channel is that she wants to have a Salon uh, slash Halloween thing here. Um, I don't know how that's gonna work. Um, considering the fact is the resources may not be there um now did i buy the washing machine yet no uh am i gonna buy the washing machine yes um when do i have to start paying the court i have to start paying the court 50 dollars a month um starting out by october 3rd so i gotta call up the attorney's office and see if i can automatically arrange payment arrangements I still got some time. I can do that right now. So why don't I do that? Oh, they're closed. I'll have to call them tomorrow. Um, I'll call them tomorrow and get the information set up for direct payments and uh, $50 a month. Uh, it's going to take about three years, but okay. At least it's interest free. So I guess it's better than that. Are we going to have another live stream coming up? Um, yeah, I'm thinking about it, but you know what? The only one who participated last year, yesterday was one person and it was a wonderful stream and everything, but I think that I really would like to have seen more people participate in um, have more lively discussion, but uh, if you are interested, please do. Um, so let's plan for that. 
Mm, let's see what we're going to on this thing here. Oh, there it is. Let's plan for that. Um, let's say um, the Sunday the 3rd. That's right. September 3rd is we're going to have our live stream um, at 6 p.m. Okay, so that's a Sunday, September 3rd, 6 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on my YouTube channel. If you want to participate in the question and you do not already have a YouTube account, get yourself a YouTube account, join us in the live stream, and you can ask questions. If you are obviously watching the video um, and you want to talk about it, just sign up for YouTube and you can join us. If you uh, missed the last live stream and you still want to comment on it, that's fine too. You still got to register on YouTube. And it does help if you want to make sure to always catch the videos when they start. You have to like, you have to subscribe to the video and click the bell because it seems that YouTube is unfortunately is uh, unsubscribing people if they don't click the bell to make it stick. So if you really want to stick around, Please do. And, um, and any suggestions for videos, we'll look into them. All right, guys. That's the news in the short thing. As far as Mr. Uh, Mayor uh, Sylvester Turner, for those members of Houston um, community, I think you need to hound the mayor's office and tell him what you thought thought about his stupidity. Um, this was originally addressed by the Wall Street Journal, so this was not just addressed directly by... Um, Alex Jones and Forbes, but this also was addressed, also I believe on Fox News as well. So, so you need to tell Mayor Sylvester Turner what you thought about his policies in Houston, that he was risking your life. It's just plain stupid, and it was, really could have gone a lot worse than it did. If, and if you need to tell him no more phony baloney, or he's going to be elected out of office, and you're going to find a better candidate to fill this position. All right. Same thing for anybody, in, any kind of political official. You don't like what they're doing? Tell them they're one foot away from being e elected out of office and replaced by somebody else. We have that right as Americans. We have the right to vote for the right people at all times. Okay. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.